Well, we've made it to Chester Fair Oaks, and it's a caravan and motorhome club site, and we're on pitch number 16. We're uh, all set up with the canopy up, it's beautiful blue skies, and uh, quite a nice pitch at the back of the site as well. And this weekend, we've come along with the other posh cats, Sheila and Joe, and guess what? They're on the pitch next door, right behind me here. And uh, of course, we didn't leave little Ethel behind. We're about to go and uh, explore a little bit of Chester. In fact, I think we're gonna go to the outlet stores and uh, have a little look around there this afternoon. Don't wanna do too much, it's a travel day, so we're just getting used to the area, area finding out what's around, and uh, tomorrow we'll go exploring a bit further afield. So uh, I'll take you with us. Here we go, let's do some shopping. Well, there's nothing like going on holiday and admiring the gardens and then uh, ended up in a Marks and Spencers. Well, best we get it out of our system. Beautiful evening. Let's have a quick look around the site. So new arrivals would pull up here, right next to the reception area. And there is a little shop and also a information room right next door. And over to my right there is visitors parking. So if you do have any visitors, they can leave their car here and walk onto the site fully secure barriered site as usual with the caravan and motorhome club and then we enter the site and uh, there's lots of hard stand pitches here and just a few grass pitches and the site is open all year round as we approach the first chemical waste point, as well as uh, bins, drinking water and wastewater. That's one of many that is distributed around. And the site's facility block with ladies and gents, toilets, showers, disabled facilities, washing up and also uh, laundry, all in the same block and a very high standard it is too. And that's in the center of this campsite. There is only one block, but it's uh, right in the center of the field. There's a children's playground. And all the trees on the site here are well managed. Um, you can see these ones here. The canopy is well clipped. And that does mean that you're not uh, completely shrouded in trees, but uh, they are very, very nice shade and shelter without being overwhelming. And uh, Bertie is just down here. And uh, we're about seven o'clock in the evening now and the sun is going down, there's a nice cool breeze. So uh, we'll go back and uh, pop the kettle on. Well, 
well we've just come out in Ethel and we're in Chester at the Rue D car park R O D E E and uh, what we're noticing is it's a really nice place for motor homes to park up so look out for that one if you're coming into Chester it's near Chester Racecourse and it's a Rue D car park um, there's no height restriction and we're going to go and explore in Chester well we're in the Chester life story and uh, Joe has found a comfortable position we're going to leave him there whilst we have a little look around the museum I'd better read this one. Chester presents welcome with the bridle to care women's tongues that talk too idly. For those of you that need guidance, <laughs> you can freeze the screen. And this woman who either talked too much or simply had an opinion. Whatever you do, don't put your hand in here. Ah, Sue's game for a laugh. Go on, girl. Go on, get your, put your hand in. That's a ball and a, and a tree. No, you're not supposed to peep first. <laughs> That locks you. Just stick your hand, hand in, in look. Mm. Oh, is the ball going to fall on you? <laughs> <laughs> Chester Grosvenor Hotel has quite uh, important clientele as you can see. And the Grosvenor Hotel will even park your car for you. How about that? And next door to the Grosvenor, if you're feeling a little bit brassic, you could always pop in here.
we're now going to go and see if we can get into Chester Cathedral and have a little look around.
morning we're at Beeston Castle. We started the walk up the hill to the castle through the little bit of woodland and uh, we'll see that we're told that there's some spectacular views at the top here and we can see as far as Liverpool apparently so we're going to climb and see what we find We've come through the woodland now into an open meadow, very pretty and there's people walking dogs and having picnics, children running up and down hills and it's a really popular little spot. Safe. Lovely views, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's really lovely. Lovely views. And a sheltered as well, no hardly any breeze. We managed to get up here, which is pretty good going. Yeah. It's quite steep. Yeah. Sue made it first. Yeah. I trail behind a slow <laughs> and very, a very poor second place. I have to check it out first and then find a little shady spot while I wait for them to catch up. <laughs> and I forgot my hat. Yes. But never mind. You could buy mine, but mine would look like a pimple on his head. <laughs> mm. <laughs> a bit hurtful. So we're sitting at the top here in Beeston's Castle and we've noticed a road, which I'll zoom in now. Um, and beyond the road, there's a railway line. So there's the road in shot there. Just at the top of the picture is the railway line. Now sent a picture. And then just beyond that is the canal.
Good morning. We're heading back down the hill again now. When you've got a dodgy knee, it's nearly as hard to walk down as it is walk up. Poor old boy. Down here for the children to play. A place for the children to explore. Just natural, not put there on purpose. back down through the little forest there's some restoration going on at the main entrance to the castle we're along the canal and uh, we're going to visit the Anderton lift which is just along the waterway here There is a boat in the lift there, coming down, very very slowly, the boat that we saw entering the uh, gates. And they're at the halfway point because there's one boat there going up and one going down.
Good afternoon. It's day four of our Northwest England motorhome tour and we've moved. Yes, we have. We've moved to Southport Caravan and Motorhome Club site and uh, we think we're being watched because uh, someone has spotted another YouTuber on site and uh, they're undercover. I'll let you, more, let you know more about that once we've discovered more. However, we're just having a cup of tea and we're going to go for a walk into Southport. And of course, as always, we will take you with us. Now we've walked into Southport and our mission is to find the Westminster Tea Rooms. We have a rendezvous. Yeah, are we up here somewhere? I think it's along here somewhere. We definitely think we're getting close. Inside the Westminster Tea Rooms, we found some friends. <laughs> My good lady Sue, with an afternoon tea. Juliet. Hello. And Phil. Hi. From Lost Weekend's Caravan. Hello, everybody. So we're going to tuck in. We'll let you know how we get on. Right next to the Westminster Tea Rooms. There's a hats and scarf shop. I've already told Phil and uh, Juliet off for bringing this to a hat and scarf shop. Now I'm going to have to go and look in there. Oh well. We're going for a little walk around the site here now. At the Southport Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Just going for an evening walk. Just had a lovely dinner. So cooked dinner tonight. Cornish pasties. This so it is split into two halves. You've got what was the original site and then another bit which is um, just as big which has only recently opened and uh, it's, it's quite open there's fewer trees but the pictures are lovely big size pictures and lots of grass through, through here and there's a brand new toilet block as well, just for the new section, which um, the uh, new toilet block is over here. This is the facilities block on the new section of the caravan site. It's um, ladies and gents, showers, toilets, uh, disabled facilities and also um, uh, washing up, chemical waste and so on, all in the one building. As you can see it's quite open this, this part of the uh, site with fewer trees and I'll show you the other half in just a moment. In between the new and the old section of the of the caravan park there is a little footpath and that takes you through to Victoria Park which we'll have a little look at later on. Um, we're just coming into the old section now of the caravan park. Still the same caravan site but as you can see there's many more trees and um, people like the shade of the trees and the shelter of the trees and uh, we're going on a hunt because we think that there's somebody on the site that we know and uh, we have a feeling they might be down here somewhere we're just coming around the corner here we've spotted a little bailey and I think they're in they're, they're actually they're actually hiding because normally they've got a bolero 
and we think that might be this one here and I'm going to be very embarrassed if it's not this one here I recognise a little man inside let's go knock on the door and see what happens morning hello <laughs> and there's the reveal when we came in oh that's all right i saw you coming in and uh, i was sort of holding poppy and trying to film and... well we're now going to go through the gate to victoria park and have a little look through there well we've come into victoria park and the first thing you spot is the model engineering club and there's a lovely model railway here miniature railway and uh, lots of track there's no activity here today but uh, we never know there might be something later in the week we'll keep an eye open for that looks very nice beautifully kept lawns and so on and round behind me is Victoria Park's uh, children's play area and uh, if we walk past that, there's uh, all sorts of other facilities and uh, bowls, greens and uh, lovely area for children to play uh, and for dogs to walk, which is what we're doing right now. And here's something you don't see very often, a croquet club. Welcome back to Posh Cats Camping. This is day five of our Northwest England tour, and uh, we're going to have some fun with our fellow YouTubers, Bob and Jenny Earnshaw. And uh, believe it or not, there's a motorhome on the beach. If I wander around here, you'll see what I mean. There really is a motorhome on the beach. And uh, I know Bob and Jenny are very grateful to Bailey for loaning them this little little baby motorhome really quite a cute little thing it is uh, we sat yesterday evening chatting away until I don't know what time it was uh, about everything motorhome and so on and uh, we're about to start again so uh, we brought the crowd with us I'm going around in circles here aren't I but uh, brought the crowd with us the dogs as well and we're going to go for a good old natter and a walk along the beach. The sun's not come out, but that's not troubling us too much. Let's go for a walk. Right, well, the first job this morning is to introduce you to our doggy friends. <laughs> you might already know Oscar and Sophie down here, Border Terriers. And then we've got uh, the delightful Princess Poppy. Say hello, Poppy. Hey. West Highland Terrier yeah. and just over here there's a very busy little cockapoo called Harley and he can't wait to run on the sand and there's plenty of it we've just got to get clear of the uh, surfing area and then we can let the dogs run free Oh, 
Bob's joined in the pool with his little doggy friends. Go for a paddle. The idea of these shoes is that they drain out through the, through the soles. <laughs> How's that feel, Bob? Cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think with, with it being July, you think the water might be a bit warmer. <laughs> Hello, Bob. Hello. Dogs are having a great time. Well, we're just off on an evening walk. It's been raining most of the afternoon. So, uh, Bob Earnshaw and myself have been catching up on YouTube, as you do, with lots of copious amounts of tea and coffee. And uh, we've just come for a walk and we're looking at these beautiful gardens. And uh, Bob, you say they're all done by volunteers? Yeah, there's a society that do it. And uh, I think it's partly for the, the Southport Flower Show, but uh, wow. cause that's normally held just in there. I see. Yeah. Inside the park. Yeah. So just the other side here is Victoria Park, isn't it? Yeah, this is Rotten Row, this is called. Okay. Which is not a very ideal name really. Yeah. So yeah, just walking towards Southport now. And here's the main entrance to the Victoria Park, which has been set up for the flower show as well. Yeah, we're getting ready for the flower flower festival. The Southport Flower Show. Oh okay. It's a lovely big park. We entered it from the other end to walk the dogs from the campsite and this is the, the town end of the park. Just doing a bit of bird spotting for the evening. Some lovely swans down here on the lake. Uh, and I think they've noticed that we're watching them. Particularly the big pink ones in the middle there. Yeah, they're, not, they're not real those ones. Are they not real, no. Bob? No. Oh, I thought I saw one move. <laughs> Somebody out there on a paddleboard. Got a bit of speed up. We're now going to walk along the pier. Southport Pier. Yeah, long straight pier, look at that. Is there a train that comes along here? We'll ask Bob. So is there a train come along here, Bob? There used to be a tram that went along here. Uh huh. And uh, I think it was too heavy for the pier, so they had to stop it. Oh, right. This is a bit of a shame. But you can see the have... tracks are still here. Yeah, yeah, left the tracks in there, but... Uh, there's a little, um, you know, one of these tractor train things goes along. I see, yeah. Um, On pneumatic tyres. Yeah. 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 I've converted Land Rover Series 2, I think. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> okay. That's yeah, still quite nice. Yeah. yeah, it's very bizarre. It's only when you get over the other side of the road that you get anywhere near the water. Yeah. But I think it's another mile and a half. You see where that we close it off yeah. for another mile and a half along there before you get to some water. So here we are at the point where the pier meets the sea. It's the evening so we're not able to go through the gates during the evening time but the pier extends way out into the distance there um, and back the way we came just behind us here um, back to a retail area. Um, and Bob was just saying to our left, just round here, uh, where the, the sand meets the grass is where the sea used to go. I'll see if I can uh, zoom in a little bit of that for you. Um, and then over in the distance, you may just about be able to pick out Blackpool Tower in the distance there, which is probably about four miles away. Um, just try not to shake the camera too much. But that there is Blackpool Tower. Um, it's just the other side of a spit of land that's going out into the sea there. Um, uh, the tide is, is out at the moment, so everywhere is muddy. But um, you can see that is some distance away. Quite a clear evening. 
Oops, Oscar's pulling my arm. It's quite a clear evening tonight, so we're able to see a fair distance out there. Well, that's about it for our visit to Southport Caravan and Motorhome Club site. We've just said goodbye to Bob and Jenny Earnshaw, and uh, we'll be traveling slightly north tomorrow to Burr's Country Park uh, near Berry in Lancashire. And Bob and Jenny are traveling in the southerly direction and uh, heading south on their tour. So uh, we won't be bumping into them again uh, just now, but uh, no doubt we'll see them online. Burr's Country Park and uh, it's coffee time. Mind, Our other posh cats are next door. <coughs> Joe's, Sue's choking on a biscuit and the dogs are enjoying their lunch. And just up here is the train line. And we never know, we might uh, Get the old train go past there. I don't think we could have got a lot closer. Considering that our motorhome is just behind me here, I don't think we could have got a lot closer. A few carriages along the way there. Station's just up on the Top. There's Uncle Joe having his sandwich. Sheila. The Posh Cats gang. There's Sue. Enjoying lunch. And there's the train. Away they go. <laughs> wow, 
lots of waving going on. They're all having lunch on the back garage. <laughs> Well that was our first little bit of excitement, we've only been here about half an hour, so uh, big smiles all round I think. Made your day. Made my day. I need another coffee. And we've just come down to the cafe, uh, down near to the pub, and we're going to meet up with some more YouTubers, and this time it's Glyn and Sharon Beckworth. Um, they're also YouTubers and uh, friends of Bob and Jenny Earnshaw, so we're going to have coffee and cake. We really do know how to live. Well, we're over by the big chimney at Burr's Country Park, walking doggies. I'm going to go down to the sluice. Um, got the chimney behind me here, and uh, here it is. I thought I'd lost it for a minute, but it's still there from last time. Um, a bit warmer weather. We were here in October last year and it was pretty cold, but uh, much nicer in July. Flowers are out. What do you think of that then, Joe? Uh -huh. Big old chimney, isn't it? It is, isn't it? There's something growing out of the top. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to walk down over the little uh, stream here and down to the sluice. This is the part of the old factory site here. You can see where the walls were from the factory mill, Joe. Yeah. You see there, like, uh, the walls. Yeah. They're just ahead of us. Uh, just here, and the sculpture that they put in place. Rather good. <laughs> what we have noticed is, is some vermin about here, and uh, we think we might have caught some. Don't move about too much, Joe. It might set it off. <laughs> you might get stuck. I'll take a wall and walk along the uh, stream here. Very pretty, much greener than when we were here last. Someone's having a nap.
Well, it's been a busy travel day and uh, lots of excitement. We love Burrs Country Park and we've decided to come to the Brown Cow for dinner. So uh, I've just taken the guys inside and they've ordered their dinner and I'm now going to join, a, join them for a nice pint and uh, something to eat myself. So uh, let's go and have a little look, see what we can find. I fancy a steak. See if they do a nice steak tonight. I think I might have to have a pint of that from Oscar's Brewery. Golden Retriever, that would do me, I think. Why not? I think I'll have to have a pint of that. Nice beer, Trev. Nice beer, is it? Yeah, nice beer, man. Yeah. Yeah. And Auntie Sheila's got the same, but with garlic bread. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Thank you. And Uncle Joe has got, got a scampi. A scampi? With, with peas. And uh, me, I'm being greedy. I'm having a steak, a rump steak, with chips and a salad. With some onion rings. Oh, lovely. We're back at the van now. It's a lovely beer. Very nice beer. And uh, a steak. It was fabulous. Thank you so much for watching. We'll uh, see you in the morning. Night night. Good morning, it's day seven of our northwest tour of England and uh, we are still at the Burrs Country Park and right behind me here is the station um, for the East Lancashire Railway. We're going to head up there in a little while and uh, catch one of the steam trains that's running today. Uh, we're expecting the first train of the day to come along at any moment and we'll have a look at that from here. We're going to have an early lunch and then head off in, onto the train on a, a hop and ride type ticket and see where we end up. Well, we're just up on the station, waiting for a train. Yeah. 
Thank you very much indeed, sir. Thank you. I'll give you a timetable as well. Have you got one? No, we've got it on our phone. Yeah, well, I'll give you a timetable, sir. And loads of those like we've got, those wild geraniums. And Sophie likes to have a window seat. On my lap, not on the seat. She wants to look out the window. <laughs> station oh, yeah, we just had a lovely ice cream from Mrs. P and we're now going to head down the hill again All the ducks have seen us. They've all come over from the other side of the river to say hello. We're in Ramsbottom still and found a nice little river here with quite a few of these industrial chimneys still about. Quite pretty. Um, looking down the other way, um, there's a bridge where the road crosses. Busy road there. Emma.
still up on Burr's Country Park and there's a couple of lovely bridges over the over the river. A really pretty railway line is uh, just up over there. Another bridge over the water. And uh, the swing around the other way. That's the bridge that we're walking on. Quite high. Um, and that's the road in. Just over there on that bridge. This one's just a footbridge, but uh, that's the main road into uh, Birch Country Park. We'll carry on this way, we'll uh, end up behind the pub and the cafe in that area. And behind me is the Brown Cow Pub. And uh, last night we had another YouTube meetup. Here's a picture. Let's see if you can see who it is. We had a lovely time chatting away with Martin from uh, the YouTube channel The Caravan Nut. Um, all sorts of topics we covered. Caravanning, motorhoming, where we're going, where we've been. Uh, lots in common. So thank you for coming along, Martin. It was a real treat. Uh, the sec second time we've met up with him. And uh, covered an awful lot more ground, which is amazing. To exchange ideas, just, you know, with like-minded people, that's what it's all about. So we're gonna head off back to the motorhome now, up the path here to the site and uh, I think we're going to walk into Berry this morning so uh, we'll take you with us morning everyone it's day eight of our northwest tour of England and uh, we're off to the markets so we're going to go to Berry markets and uh, Try not to spend any money. He's got 90 quid left, he's just looked in his wallet. Wait, don't tell him that. <laughs> I'm not supposed oh. to spend it. Oh, what's up for then? Uh, <laughs> I think we've got an audience this morning. Oh, Youngsters, aren't they? Yeah, all the little calves in a row and the mummy ones are over here. All penned up. Well, we made it to the Millgate shopping centre in Bury. Lots of people about. It's Friday, market day, and uh, we're just going to decide which way we're going to go in. There's several ways you can go into the market. Um, if you really like going through the fish hall, fish and meat hall, or whether we're going to look for hats and handbags. Let's find out. You guessed it. Hats and handbags. Oh, right. Right. Not too, wouldn't it? Mm. I challenge you to tell the difference. Well, I couldn't resist it, could I? I've lost the girls in the market, so I'm wandering around here. I may even have to buy myself an ice cream in a minute. It's a lovely day here in Berry Markets. Absolutely buzzing with people. And uh, I'm just gonna find a shady spot for a few minutes. But for all you vegetarians and vegans, now is a good time to close your eyes, just for a couple of minutes, while we walk through the meat and fish hall. The hustle and bustle of the uh, Markets, both sides. Just about anything you need. 
meat and fish. All sorts of seafood. Sausages and burgers. And before you know it, we're through the other side. And look over bumped into. Did you find them? Lost them again. Oh well. We'll keep looking. This is what we've been warned about, the original Berry Black Pudding Shop. And uh, yeah. it's just gelatin on the bowl. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Had a nice time? Yeah. Lovely. Spending your money. <laughs> Have I got any left? Not a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll go in here anyway, shall we? Where are we now? In the Millgate Shopping Centre. Okay. Yeah. And there's the there's the joke shop we went in last time. Oh, what a look in there! Got... I'm going to go and have a look in the joke shop. More hats. Today is turning into a hat day. Oh, look, the pink bowler hat. Scary. <laughs> What have you found now? Yeah. One with dreadlocks? Yeah. Come on in. <laughs> oh, the tag's a bit in the way. <laughs> so look. Boy George. Do you think that's a Boy George, George one? Yeah. Yeah, it'll work, won't it?
we've just come out of the brown cow and uh, another lovely meal a couple of nice pints of ale and uh, here's what we had uh, Shayla has gone for the smothered chicken with a jack of potato Sue has vegetable lasagna with garlic bread and Joe is, lamb a, shank. is a lamb shank, yeah, lamb with, shank. with mash yeah and uh, and I am uh, um, oh and I've got the same as I had the other night the rump steak with chips and onion rings and all the rest of it yum yum well there's a train coming along that's almost dark and that's uh, tootling along Last train of the day, I'd say. Looks like it's a special. They're all dining cars. Yep. That's a special, that one. They're all eating dinner. Now the problem with getting ready to go is that often you get distractions. And I was just uh, emptying the tanks, sorting things out, and this happened. And I was hitching the car up, getting all ready to go, very, very keen I was to get on the road, and this happened. hitched up and ready to go and the other posh cats are waiting as well 
so with this being day nine of our northwest motorhome tour of England, we bid you goodbye for, for now anyway. We're out again uh, tomorrow uh, on a day trip and then again next weekend. So uh, the 200 or so miles that we're going to travel today to get us home, uh, well, it's all going to be very busy. So uh, stick with us. And until next time, bye bye. Thank you.